Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and the Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 7. So this week we need something used for or while traveling. And for that I have a um, suitcase here. There's also a passport and I have a map. So I'm covered on that one. Washi tape. I have this cool washi tape, which is, it says travel the world and it's of airplanes. I'm going to put that one down there. So we're kind of, we're kind of got this travel thing, a piece of letter or a postcard. This is not a travel postcard, but it's a really cool postcard from the Butterfly Conservatory of Cypress Gardens. And I got it in a pack from the thrift store that had only a couple of these cards in it. And I thought, I don't know that I want to put that on, but I might make a pocket for that. Um, also for this piece of, of a letter or a postcard, this is just a piece of ephemera, you know, one of those ephemera packs, and it is a letter, so I have that as well. Ooh, something with a distinct scent or smell, I have that, and I that's garlic. I have a stamp here of garlic. Um, my husband is Italian, and we call we tease them and say that garlic is the Italian breath mint. So I have uh, garlic that has a very distinct scent or smell. Rubber stamping in any color other than black. And I have lavender because um, purple garlic is actually a thing. And so I'm going to stamp that in purple. And bonus is sheet music. So I have all of my pieces here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start and see what we have. So this is a map. It's a piece of a map from New Jersey and Pennsylvania. This is, uh, I've used pieces of this map elseways in other pieces. Um, not Pittsburgh. Sorry, Pittsburgh. But no, we're not going to go with Pittsburgh. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and simply do this. I want approximately eight and, or uh, 11 inches, approximately 11 inches. So right about here. And I say approximately because I don't need it to be exactly to the top of the page. But there, I will use this much of this, fold that up, put it away for a later time. And then, okay, we can go right to the seam here, right to the fold. Now well, that didn't work very well, did it? There we go. Let's do that. Ah, okay. So now I have my background. Grab my glue book and let's glue this puppy up. I hope you're all having a good week. If you are doing this challenge, I please make sure you are putting some links down below because I would love to come take a look at your challenge. Or if you have a channel here and you do these, just again, just let me know in the comments below and I would love to come and take a look at what you're doing. That's one of the cool things about these challenges is that you work with the materials that you have and everybody has different stuff and different ways of interpreting it and going at this in a slightly different manner. You know, how do you interpret this? Well, I'll tell you, when I first looked at that this week and saw that it said something to that you... Where's my... I lost my paper. Yeah, here it is. Something used for or while traveling. And I thought, I don't know. What do you use when you're traveling? You use a suitcase, right? So I have, so I went looking for a suitcase. And I have a suitcase right here, which we're going to put right over the top of Atlantic City. You don't really need a passport, at least I don't, in order to go to New Jersey. There's New Jersey and Delaware here. Sorry, Atlantic City, you are closed over. Um, so I have my piece of writing. 
Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take my music and I am going to use this music differently than a kind of more like a journal piece. Let me come over here and I'm going to, I, this is from a hymnal. Um, I have been using up this music out of this hymnal. I took apart a hymnal and uh, I'm now using it for my idea book and really liking it a lot. There. Get rid of that piece. And let's go ahead. You know what? We're going to ink up with purple. And I don't have a purple one started. So let's go ahead and get... The reason I'm inking up with purple is because I have to stamp with this later anyway. So let's go ahead and ink this up with, this is uh, Seedless Preserves. You gotta, you know, whether you, no matter what you think about the different colors of ink and manufacturers of ink, you gotta love the colored names. They are so cool. And this one is Seedless Preserves. I didn't know you could make preserves. I thought preserves meant there were seeds in it. There. Okay, cover that for the moment. Just stick that over there. Am I still in? I want to make sure I'm still in shot. Okay, and I am going to switch my glues up and use my Fabri-Tac for this because it gives a nice small... Um, Got a piece of who there from the edge of the page. Okay, we're gonna give a nice small bead. Thin bead. I know a lot of people use art glitter glue as well for something similar. Okay, I'm going to put that pocket down here. So that I can then put this inside of it. So I'll have my postcard. I have this, which could go here, but I also have this. Okay, you are going to need, where'd my purple go? There it is. A little purpling up as well. I closed up my thing. I don't want to have to open it up again. I'm being lazy. Okay. There. So we can put this here and here. And although I still have my garlic, and that's not going to show up very well on there so I think I need to get another piece of paper to put there okay I'm not going to stamp that down yet until I get a piece of paper hang on I'll be right back okay I'm back I just wanted to get a little piece of paper here come on and I'm glue strings here hanging down. Okay, let me see if I can get a slightly better impression of the word garlic. I like how it looks. I like the color, but I want to see if I can get a slightly better impression. There we go. That works. Okay, cover up my piece. Grab my. Obviously, I printed, I was stamping off a lot of purple and trying a. I tried a bunch of new stamps and I like them very much. All right, let's do a quick fussy cut of the garlic. 
which we will cut to look like a clove of garlic. There. So I have my garlic up there. I think I maybe want to put that like that so I can see it even a little bit better. Okay, let's do that. Grab my glue. I have a brand new glue here. It's a beautiful day here in the Finger Lakes. And this it's cold and it's going to be cold for a while it's not going to get out of the 20s but it is a really pretty day um i will tell you that this week i had my every four year colonoscopy and i do it every four years because there is a history of colon cancer in my family i encourage you if you have not gotten a colonoscopy recently please make an appointment and go get one now it is definitely definitely worth it okay I'm going to use just a little bit of washi I think to hold down my what we're doing this week. And travel the world, why not? If you've got the time and the money, why wouldn't you? I tell you, it's one of the things I would definitely be doing. Okay, so something used for while traveling I have both a suitcase and my map, washi tape, a letter, and a postcard. I got two of those, something with a distinct scent. Oh, I probably should have purpled you up around the outside. Oh, well. Rubber stamping in any color other than black. And a bonus is a piece of sheet music. So I have everything on here, but I'm going to add in a little bit of extra washi just to kind of round out the use of washi. I'm going to put some over here. And let's zigzag. This is to Philadelphia. I like Philly. I've been there a couple of times and I really like it. It's a nice place to visit. And the last time we went my kids were little and my daughter got to put her hand into the crack of the Liberty Bell. It was very cool. And she still remembers it. She still talks about it. And I think it's what kind of helped cement her love of history, to be honest with you. When history comes alive that way. All right, we'll put a couple of those down there. We need a little bit more purple. Okay, hang on. Uh, what do I want to do? I have this new stamp that I haven't used yet. It's Well, it's new to me. I got this at a, um, what you call it, a thrift store. And I haven't really used it yet. And I thought, oh, well, what the heck? Let's see what we've got. We need to dress this up a little bit. Um, this is what it looks, the whole thing of it looks like. I should get it there so you can see it. But I'm only using the clump of roses down in the bottom. Oh, that doesn't show up over there at all, but it shows up over here just fine. All right. Well, there we go. Marguerite Miller Challenge number seven. Um, I'm finding these kind of fun to do. There's my postcard, which slips very nicely in there. I think I'm getting better. When I take a look back, you know, this was 
my first one. That's pretty simple. And then I like this one. This one I think is among my better ones. This one was okay. You know, I'm, I'm not so, you know, this one was, I didn't like this one at all. I didn't think it came out as nearly as well. This one I like. That's the one dedicated to my mom. And then this one was last week's, and eh, it's okay. Um, I think this is among my betters. So, you know, the only way to learn to collage is to collage. Thank you, Carrie the Crafter. So there is my Marguerite Miller challenge for week seven. I hope you're having a good time. If you're enjoying this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, click like if you are enjoying the videos. And if you want to know when the next video is coming out, just go ahead and hit the bell for the notifications and you'll get a little notification every time I put up a new video. Um, although for those of you who are longtime uh, subscribers of the channel, you know that I put videos out on Mondays and Fridays and with the occasional walkthrough Wednesday. And there will be, there was a video, a walkthrough on this past Wednesday. There will be another one this coming Wednesday. So uh, watch for those. And I think that's it. Okay. So for this Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 7, this is Cindy signing off.